Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, recently I had been to that AWS reInvent event where uh, I probably met with many, many founders, many, many amazing people who are specifically working in the field of generative AI. And um, I have probably planned a list of videos where I probably talk about the tools and amazing frameworks that has been currently been built so that you actually create some amazing generative AI application. One of those tool and framework is about Langfo. So in this particular video, I will be talking about how you can develop some amazing RAG applications with the help of Langflow. Now here, uh, you don't have to probably do much amount of coding. Just with the help of drag and drop, you can actually create some amazing RAG applications. So let's go ahead and let's talk about Langflow. And here I will be showcasing multiple applications, how you can develop RAG applications, how you can develop chatbots uh, with the help of Langflow. And here we are also going to specifically use OpenAI API keys. Uh, we will be going step by step with respect to that. So first of all, let's understand what exactly Langflow is. You know, Langflow, let us take complex product ideas and quickly bring them, bring them to life through visual flows that anyone can understand. Now see, now one of the major, major, major research work that are probably currently going on with respect to the generative AI things is basically to create some amazing and efficient RAG applications. Now, if I talk about Langflow, it is a low code tool for developers that make it easier to build powerful AI agents and workflow that can use API model or databases. So here you can also integrate databases like data stacks and all. Okay, so let's go ahead and probably see this and they also have an amazing documentation over here, uh, which you can basically refer from basic prompting to doc create document Q&A to create memory chatbot, simple agent, vector store, rag and many more things, right? So all these things are available over here. So in our case, what we are basically going to do is that let's go ahead and click uh, on get started for free and you can sign up with GitHub or Google. Okay, so I'll go ahead and sign up with uh, Google. And the best thing about this particular tool is that this tool is completely end to end, you know. So once you probably develop a RAG application, you'll also be able to get the API endpoints and you'll be able to directly use it in your Python code, right? That is the most amazing thing, right? So here you'll be able to see that we are still login and uh, here is the documentation uh, which you can specifically use. Uh, and in this particular, the most amazing thing about this particular documentation it is just given in simple languages and it has also given multiple examples which you can actually see, okay? Now this is, uh, uh, your data stacks lang flow now here i've already created three projects but i really want to show you completely from beginning so let's go ahead and click on the new flow now in the new flow you have multiple options you can get started with basic prompting you can get started with vector store rag you can also start with a simple agent so these are the blank flows or you can also start with bank flow uh, wherein you can also put your um, you know you can probably create a chatbot based on your specific requirement okay so over here what i'm actually going to do is that i'm going to first first of all start with basic prompting okay so i'll click over here click on the basic prompting and here you can see that so easily this entire graph has been created you know the entire uh, the flow has been created right and the best part over here is that you have not written even a single line of code right so here you can see in the readme file you had that you just need to go ahead and add your open ai key to the open ai model then you can also play with this entire chatbot over here so let's talk more about this particular chatbot what exactly it is doing okay so here uh, use your chat input right you can probably write a text over here here you can provide some prompt. Let's say that over here a prompt is given that answer the user as if you are a Gen AI expert, enthusiast about helping them and getting started building something fresh. And then you'll be able to see that uh, after providing this particular prompt and the chat, we are combining this and we are hitting the OpenAI models. Okay. Uh, you can also add other models also. So see over here, if you probably go ahead and see in models, you can add AI ML, uh, Amazon Bedrock, Anthropic, Azure OpenAI, Cohere, Google Generative AI, Grok. There's so many different, different models. Let's say that if I probably bring this particular model by just dragging and dropping. So here is my model. Okay. Um, I can also even type the input over here. I can set up my Grok API key over here and all. It is up to you, right? Which model you want to probably use it, okay? Uh, if you think that you don't have an open AI API key, you can also go ahead and use with Grok and other things, right? So here uh, is my open AI API key, uh, sorry, open AI uh, model that we're going to use. 
the only thing that you need to provide over here is with respect to the model name, like what model name you specifically want to use, whether you want to go ahead with GPT-40 mini or whether you want to go ahead with any other things. Then you also have the OpenAI API key over here. Here, you just need to provide the OpenAI API key. So uh, <clears throat> to probably run this entire thing in the playground, I need to go ahead and update the OpenAI API key. So let me get the OpenAI API key and let me update it over here. So now I've got my OpenAI API key. I'll just go ahead and copy and paste it over here and I'll keep the temperature as 0.1. And finally, uh, once I get the input along with the prompt, uh, once it goes and hits the OpenAI model, that is GPT-40 mini, I should be able to get the response over here, right? So uh, just to execute this, let me just go ahead and click this run the component over here. And over here, you'll be able to see that this is also running fine. This prompt is also running fine. I'll also go ahead and run this particular uh, uh, OpenAI model. So here you can see step one, step two, step three. It has also got executed just in 1.49 seconds. And finally, I should also be able to see the message. Just I'm just trying to build this entire thing and see that whether everything is working fine. So here I have got the green tick. Okay. And this is really, really important for all the people out there because now you can just see that within five minutes, how you can amazingly create RAG application without any code, right? So finally, if you go ahead and click on the playground, so here I will just go ahead and drop a message. Let's say that, hello, what is generative AI? And you can also test this entire application, whether it is working fine or not, right? So now here you'll be able to see the flow is running and it is also using the OpenAI key. Uh, and here I get the answer. Hello, I'm thrilled you are interested in generative. It's such an exciting field. Generative AI refers to the class of artificial intelligence and all and all, right? So let's say if I also want to go ahead and add, hey, what is the difference between Gen AI, Gen AI versus what is the difference between Gen AI versus, let's say, deep learning? If I go ahead and ask this specific question and if I press enter, I should be able to get uh, the entire response. And again, this will be running the entire flow. It will take the chart, it will take the prompt, then it will go to the OpenAI models and probably interact and give you the output, right? So this is quite amazing. Here you can see in the playground, it is working absolutely fine. Now, the next thing is that you can also go ahead and bring the API, right? As I said that, uh, when you are probably developing this entire flow, you know, at the end of the day, this entire application gives you the entire API, right? So you can get the curl API where you can probably hit it like this and you can interact it in the form of a chatbot. Then you also have the Python API. You have this entire code which you can specifically run, right? Just by running this, by creating the environment and required some of the libraries like uh, um, over here, I think you require the Langflow library and all. Once you install that, with all this particular API URL and all, you should be able to get it. And here you can also see there is something called as application token, right? This application token, you can generate it from here, right? So if you click on generate token, here your application token will get generated and you can directly use this particular code. You don't have to probably do much and automatically that entire thing will be acting as a uh, chatbot itself. Along with this, you also have the Python code. You can also write the Python code wherever you want in the form of modules. And there is also JavaScript API. If you are a JavaScript developer, you want to use it in some kind of websites, you can also use it over here. Okay. So perfect. It looks good enough, right? Uh, let's, let's try some more projects uh, because I have just shown you a custom simple chatbot, but I would also like to show you a new one. Let's say I'll go ahead and create a new one. Um, I'll go to my projects. Okay. Let me go ahead and create a new flow. So here I will also show you with the help of vector store rag. Okay. So let's click this. Okay. Vector store rag. And now here you can see there is, there is this entire model, <laughs> the entire flow that has got created automatically. Before, uh, trust me, I had to write a lot of code to create this, you know. So here, uh, if I probably consider there are two important flows, right? One is the data flow. Because whenever we try to create a RAG application, we need to have some kind of PDFs, which needs to be stored. All the vectors needs to be stored in some kind of vector database, right? And as I said, Langflow already provides you that, right? So that is the most amazing thing over here. Uh, so let me just go ahead and see some more options over here. I will just make this as dark. Now this looks good, right? So here what I'm actually going to do is that I will first of all create my entire data flow. So now, now it says that hey, you have to probably load the file. Okay, load the file to be used in your project. So let me just go ahead and load the file. So let's say I will go ahead and use this attention.pdf. Okay. And this attention.pdf is the research paper of transformers. Okay. Uh, you can probably see this particular PDF, right? 
Then uh, the next step that we specifically do while creating the entire rag application is about splitting the text. Now we are using some chunk overlap of 200, chunk size and all. Separator you can use based on your uh, text that you have. Then you have the OpenAI embeddings. Uh, I will be using some text embeddings 3 solve. For this you require the OpenAI API key. So I have copied and pasted the OpenAI API key. Now all this information will be probably stored in some kind of vector database. So that is the reason we are using AstraDB over here, right? Now you may be thinking, Krish, is there only one type of vector database? No, you can also use AstraDB Graph, Cassandra, Cassandra Graph, Chrome DB, Elasticsearch, Fires, whatever things you basically require. So this, this in turn combines all the things that is actually required over here, okay? Now let's say that for this uh, current uh, application, I'm going to use AstraDB. Let's go ahead and uh, use uh, or add or create a new test database. So here I will say that rag example will be my test database name. Okay. I will select a provider. Let's say AWS US East 2 and I'll go ahead and create the database. So this also provides you that option of creating the data stack database. Not only that, you have a lot of other options which you want to probably use. You can use it, right? Vector rag and probably in the AWS event, I've met with the founders of each and every of these companies and what they are specifically developing. It's it's quite amazing. They were people, they were technical people who were specifically working. Now, once I probably select the database, uh, the database will get started getting created. Okay, till this is basically getting created, let's go back to my second module. Now, this is the first module where we had the data flow and this is the second module where we have the retrieval flow, right? Now the text will be like, what is the document all about? Then I will be getting that particular text. Uh, over here that text will get converted with the help of OpenAI embedding. So I need to have the OpenAI key. As I said, you can also use other one like Grok and all, whichever you want. Uh, if you want to use some other embedding techniques from Hugging Face, you can also use that, right? Here you have this Astra DB. Now you can go ahead and select the uh, database, but still it is getting created. A rag example is over here. It is getting created. It is going to take time. Then uh, once you have this database, so whatever question you basically ask, you can probably go ahead and interact with the database and get the information. Let's say that you want to use some other agents. Here also you can add agents. Let's say that there is one agent that I want to probably add, you know, and this particular agent uh, model provider, we can probably select whatever model provider we want. And then that agent also, you can probably use it over here. Okay. So uh, right now I'll just delete this because I don't require it. And then once this is selected, let's see, okay, it is taking some amount of time. But once this is created, uh, then what is happening, then we go to the parse data. It converts the data into plain text, okay. Then here is a prompt. Prompt basically says we are giving a context, given the context above, answer the following questions as best as possible. So this is what we basically do while creating the rank. And finally, it is going to the open AI, which is my final model. You can change your model based on your requirement. And finally, you get the chat output, right? So this entire flow is for the retrieval, right? The below flow was for the entire data flow, right? So step by step, you have each and everything over here, right? So now you'll be able to see that once this is basically getting created, we just need to go ahead and select this. And after doing that, we just need to probably run this entire flow. Once we run this entire flow, we'll be having the data that will be available in our AstroDB. So let's wait. Uh, okay, now you can see that uh, my database has been created. So I will just go ahead and select this. Okay, so this is sort selected, everything is ready. Now let me uh, go ahead and just run all these things. Okay, so I will run this AstraDB flow. So this will build it, it'll take this particular PDF, convert that into vectors, store it in the AstraDB database, which we have created a database over here. I'll also use a new collection name, okay? So let's say, I will say rag, okay? Dimension type, I can use uh, 1536, and then we are going to use with the help of cosine similarity, okay? So once this is created, we will be also creating our collection. So for, for any database, you definitely require uh, the database name and then you also require the collection name. So let's wait till this is basically getting created. Then we have to select the same thing over there, right? So here you have this rag, uh, I've selected it. And here also we have to select that, right? So once it is done, we are good to go. Now let's run this. <clears throat> and once we run this, now this should also become green and it should be running fine, right? So now in 2.49 seconds, everything is working fine. Now let's uh, run this also so that we will be able to see the output. So we are just trying to build it. Now, once this things run, you know, we should be able to see it, you know. Uh, 
yeah perfect now this is running now let's check in the playground okay uh, let me ask the question what is the document all about if i go ahead and ask this so this i had executed for my previous application anyhow so now the flow will be running uh, what is the document all about so document appears to be the application of trans attention mechanism in neural networks and all okay so explain about attention mechanism let's say i'll go ahead and write this and we are going to use the open ai model again it is up to you so i have just asked a question like saying that hey uh, please explain me about the attention mechanism and uh, i think it should be running now it is interacting with this right interacting with the db over there so here is my entire output that i'm able to get it right so this is very good uh, who are are the researchers researchers for this paper okay i'm just asking some random questions and it should be able to give you and you can see that how fast it is hardly i'm taking some amount of time to do this the research paper for the these are all these people that is probably written over here right so this is good and if you want to get the api you can go ahead and get it from the curl api python api jc js api python code and anything that you really require so I hope you like this particular video. This was it for my side. Just imagine developing your rag application in five minutes without writing any code with the help of Langflow. So yeah, this was it for my side. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, one Take care. Bye-bye.